In this video I'm going to show you how to do a gluteal or buttock stretch. Keep the left leg bent, this helps to flatten the lower back out and make it a little bit safer for your lower back. Bring the leg up for which glute we're going to stretch. Turn it on a bit of an angle. One hand protects the knee and the other hand reaches over and grabs the shin. Keep the angle while you bring the whole lot up towards the chest. And that should bring a stretch on in the glute region. Now if you want to intensify the stretch a little bit, we can bring the knee and the leg the whole lot towards the midline a little bit more. So as though you're bringing your knee towards your sternum, chest bone. This stretch here, you can hold it for 20 to 30 seconds, repeat it twice through, great glute stretch. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to stretch the front of your right thigh. The top hand grabs the bottom foot, preferably at the ankle. And then line this knee up with the rest of your body. So I want shoulder, hip and knee all in one line. Then your top knee, you grab it with your bottom hand and pull it up towards your chest. Nice and high. So that, by pulling this up, you should flatten your lower back off. Hold that. Now can you feel a stretch? on your bottom front thigh. Yeah. That's your quad stretch. Okay? You hold it for 30 seconds, twice through, per leg. So 30 seconds this side, then you roll over, 30 seconds this side, and then go back and repeat it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. In this video I'm going to show you how to stretch the calf muscle. Uh, the two, two muscles in the calf, gastrocnemius, which is this muscle bulk here, and underneath that is soleus. There's a third one, plantaris, but we won't worry about that today. So for gastrocnemius, which is a high calf stretch, use a small step, it tends to uh, intensify the stretch a little uh, easier. Line the heel up directly forwards. A lot of people do this and miss half of the stretch. So directly forwards, or even turn it out just a few degrees and lock the knee out. The knee needs to be locked out, heel to the ground, and you'll get a high calf stretch. To get soleus, which is the muscle down here, we slide the whole step forward a touch, put weight through the leg, and bend the knee. By bending the knee, we take the high calf stretch out, and we should feel this stretch down at the bottom of the, bottom of the leg. For both stretches, hold for about 20 to 30 seconds and repeat twice through. Thanks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stretch the muscle in front of your shin. Just for the record, this is the thigh, this is the leg. So the muscle in front of the leg consists of tibialis anterior, which pulls your ankle backwards. Now, this muscle is used when you walk in order to clear the floor. Swimming, cycling, running, we all use that muscle, tibialis anterior, to pull the foot backwards. There are other muscles in this area, toe muscles are also in this area, and to stretch them all, grab the top of your foot at the toes and pull the foot downwards. And you may feel a tension through the front of your shin. Same for the other side, grab up at the toes, pull the foot downwards. Now to increase the stretch a little bit, after you've pulled downwards, you can pull it slightly towards you and you may feel an increased tension through the muscle. Another way to stretch both muscles at the same time is to kneel on the floor with your feet pointing backwards and slightly together. So, kneeling, feet pointing backwards and then slightly together, heels apart and now I can feel a stretch in front of both of my shins. So the stretch should be held for about 20 to 30 seconds, rest and then repeat. Thanks for watching. In one of my other videos I gave a hamstring stretch where you're lying on your back, a PNF hamstring stretch. That's a great hammy stretch but I'll give you another one. Putting your foot up on a chair or a bench, you can have your knee slightly bent or fully straight and then lean forwards with your hips, not your back. 
So your back can stay straight, lean forwards with your hips. Rounding your back doesn't increase a hamstring stretch because your hamstrings stop here. So changing things above that isn't going to change your hamstring stretch. It's got to come from the hip and straightening the knee. One thing to avoid is trying to get your foot and pull it backwards. Because if I pull my foot backwards, I can feel an increased tension even in my heel and my leg, but that's pulling your nerve a little bit more. Hamstring starts here, behind your tibia, to the ischial tuberosity and your pelvis. So it's just that. You can leave the foot and let it relax. Same with people who do this stretch, leaning forwards, the foot doesn't need to come up unless you are intentionally stretching your nerve. Let the foot relax and then lean forwards, that's your hamstring stretch. Do both sides, 20 seconds per hamstring. I'm going to give you a stretch for the hip flexor. Now, the true hip flexors are iliosolus, so iliacus, which comes from the pelvis, and solus, which comes from your lumbar spine, the front of your lumbar spine. They unite together and flex the hip by attaching to the lesser trochanter of the femur. So, the muscle stretch I'm after is only from here to here. If you're feeling a stretch down the bottom there, it's not a true hip flexor. So, I'm not a fan of doing this one for hip flexor because it brings in the quadriceps by bending the knee. To isolate the hip flexor, put one leg up on a chair or a bench and tilt your pelvis backwards by tucking your tailbone down. So it's a posterior pelvic tilt. Hold that while you transfer your weight towards your front leg and you'll feel a stretch come on here. That's a true hip flexor stretch. Try that. 20 seconds per side, twice through. 